Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be putting in a new exhaust system on the GT3. I have it all laid out right here. So let me turn this around and show you guys what I got. Here it is. This is the Dundon race headers and the Dundon crack pipe. So uh, if you guys are familiar with the GT3, even if you're not, you may have probably heard this exhaust uh, make some noise waves, uh, literally and figuratively online. Uh, this thing rips from what I've heard. Uh, so we're going to throw it on the GT3. Nothing was wrong with the sole performance at all. Uh, that exhaust performed very well pretty much every track day I ever went to. Somebody, a complete stranger, would always come up to me and always tell me that my car sounded the best on track. So that uh, exhaust setup is beautiful. I loved it. But hearing the crack pipe is just something completely different. It's just not... It's not, I, don't, I can't even describe it. Words can't describe it other than it's just fucking loud. That, I mean, it's loud, it screams, it pops. Um, this exhaust, this, uh, sorry, ugh. this design was uh, based for uh, use on cup cars. That's why they developed this exhaust setup. And uh, so it's supposed to be extremely loud. So you can see we get rid of the cats. Uh, Pretty simple, right? This this piece of tubing goes connected there. That end goes here, clamps there, clamps in between these two right here. So pretty simple. We just gotta jack this up and start unscrewing shit. And uh, yeah, this is not going to be a DIY. If you're looking for a DIY, this is not it. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So here we are, update. Old exhaust is out completely. It's not, this is relatively fast. It took half an hour to do all this. Drop the tray, drop the exhaust, unplug the O2 sensors. Those are 22 mils, by the way. Uh, uh, I got that from AutoZone. It was funny. The guy was like, what is this for? I was like, it's a GT3. Oh, I never heard of that come through here before. So, uh, yeah, you can rent that tool from AutoZone. You'll be straight. And, uh, yeah, man. So, so far, so good. Now I just need to unbolt the headers, OEM headers, off the car. It's a 12 mil, so I gotta dig through all my my tools and find where the fuck I put my 12 mil. So, yeah, check back in in a bit when these are off. All right, so we got the headers on, the bung defoulers right over there, right over here. We got new O-rings, headers installed, and now this. We're probably at the hour and 15 mark now just because we had some issues with we didn't even notice that this thing came with a defouler and uh what else o-rings so we went and we had to backtrack a little bit um other than that it's been pretty smooth and now it's time to put on the crack pipe with the uh the clamps that we were given we'll put this one. Yeah. okay here we go so crack pipe installed did a little wiggle work on it Took a little longer than expected. Uh, it's really straightforward if you know exactly what you're doing. Like if you've done this before and then you come back and uh, do it a second time, it'll probably only take you like what, like an hour, hour and a half? Yeah. Super fast. But uh, we, we messed up a couple times, had to backtrack a little bit. Other than that, super easy. And uh, we'll go ahead and get it started in a sec. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, sorry, it wasn't really a review. My review will come next week. Uh, reason being, I'm helping a buddy install some uh, Dundon Street headers on his car. I want to make sure I can um, give you guys some good quality and a good comparison between OEM Street 
and race headers uh, that I have and uh, do a decibel reading on each one and and go from there. Hopefully that's good information for you guys who are considering any of the products um, that I'll be displaying for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's it. The review will probably be out like next week. Um, I'm taking the car to the track this weekend. I want to have more time with it on the street this week. That way I can give you guys my thoughts on this system on both the street and the track and, uh, you know, let you guys know what I think. But uh, if you guys are new to my channel, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. And also, um, yeah, my channel is just basically focused around track content and product reviews of different products that I end up buying for my cars. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. But before I end this video, I wanted to show you guys this badass deck that my buddy made. Uh, this is a motorsport spec board. Um, very high quality, very nice. This isn't a custom board. I don't necessarily know if he's doing custom orders. Uh, this is, you know, one of a limited few that he has available. Uh, this one, not specifically. This one's mine going up in the house somewhere. I'm to figure out where I'm going to put it. But, uh, yeah, thanks, Austin. That's, that's badass. I really appreciate it. It looks good. It looks amazing. Uh, really looks 3D-like. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, you can find him at Motorsport Spec on Instagram. So, uh, yep, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.